Hey folks, and welcome to another tutorial from phpscripting.com. I've been talking about an image gallery web creation page for a while now, and now I'm going to show you how that script can be written up. This is basically taking the web page creation script and expanding on it to include an array of images that can be displayed on a page. So it can create some pretty nice image galleries. Hope you enjoy it. So here we've got our image gallery creation page. Got the text fields filled in. Now choose some images. You can grab all of them. Now choose a status, published, unpublished. As you can see, there's an edit link immediately after the page is created. Here's our MySQL database structure. And there is our information. As you can see, this is our array of images saved in the table after we uploaded them. Now we'll look at the pages that we need to create this. Require CNN, this is our MySQL database connection file. Page URL, form action, which HTML entities. It adds a little bit of security for posting. And then we check to see if everything is set, of course. Of course, if we don't add anything, nothing happens, which is exactly what we want. We've got our prepare statement. We turn the uploaded images into an array. Make sure you're using multiple in the form. And then it processes all the information that we need for each image. We turn it into an array and then we implode it before putting it into the database. I use document root when uploading. Of course, the directory where we want to upload to, which is images in this case. And of course, we write our file. The NL2BR, what that means is if there are any breaks, in the text, it will echo as such. It just puts in break tags. You can do this for P tags as well. Perhaps I'll show that later on. And then of course we create the page. So now we'll go on to our editing page. If you click on the edit button, it goes according to the ID that you query from the database using a prepared statement, of course, which I have presented in previous tutorials, but I'll show you here as well. Now, if I want to choose new images, I just uncheck, choose the images. As you can see, the new images have been uploaded. So this is basically the same as the insert statement. However, of course we use update. Notice that the files array is now in an if is set post pix check conditional statement. That means that you only recreate that array if that is unchecked. Otherwise, we use something called pix alt, which actually lists the array from the MySQL database table. So if we don't uncheck that checkbox, we use the original images. Now, if we view the source, we'll see that array. And here is what it creates. We've got our grid of images. Click, they just open a new, new tab at this point. Perhaps later on, I'll show you how to add color box to it. So we'll have a slideshow. This is our PIX grid. This is how we display the images on the page. That is a separate file as well, it's a function. And it puts our array of images into a nice, pretty table grid. I like to use tables. They're easy to make responsive. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you in some way. It was a little quick. However, over at the full article at phpscripting.com, you'll be able to get a better idea of what's going on. I'll include code blocks that you can copy and paste and create a script of your own. Of course, if you don't want to bother scripting that up. I do have the PHP JQ image gallery creator script that you can try out. It's for free or you can download it and pick it apart and edit to your liking. Just don't resell it. That's all I ask. 
So either way, you can script it up yourself or you can just download mine and take a look at how I've done it. It's very similar to this. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and visit phpscripting.com. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think. Thanks.